Hi, welcome or welcome back to Noggin Comics. Uh, yeah, this is a very unusual setup right now. We're uh, improvising. We're improvising. We, <laughs> so before we, we filmed this already, but... Uh, Didn't like how it turned out. Very bad, grainy lighting situation, stuff like that, you know, stuff you had to deal with every time you film. But um, yeah. what this video is today is this is a video about not the top picks. This is actually what we just did over the weekend. Mm -hmm. uh, we went to a convention for the first time, um, well, all year basically, because Spring Fling was a yeah. small show. Uh, so Fall Con XL happened this weekend. Uh, but why exactly were we at Fall Con? Yes, so Mind's Eye Comics had a booth, and I was, uh, I was working at it for the first time, and... Yeah, well, that's why we were there mainly to help out. Um, Kyle helped out. He helped build and break down, and then, um, yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> we got uh, well, basically as we were exhibitors, vendors. Mm -hmm. So we got to experience the whole con experience. We got to experience the uh, the building on Thursday. No, uh, don't Friday team meeting on Thursday. Uh, building Friday, and then the takedown Saturday night, and the work in the show. But what we want to do is first we want to talk about your experience, because you're the one that worked at Mind's Eye Booth. You're the one that worked at the table while I just walked around for eight hours. Yeah, it was really fun to see people um, just get excited about toys and comics and like movies and stuff that we had um, in person at a show, and just to kind of see everyone with their cosplay and just their creative ideas um, and to see all the artists in one area, all the vendors and just just have like the community back together and just having that, that positivity there was really great. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I, 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 I do wish that we had more cosplay. Than, yeah. You know, it was a very limited amount of cosplay, but then again, that's very, Falcon's never known for the cosplay. Yeah. But, uh, Let's go with what we got first. Uh, I mean, yeah. So let's start off with the shirt that we got by uh, Jack Colts. Yeah. So a local artist did this awesome shirt design. Um, let me see if I can. Yeah, you go right there. So comics are for everyone. Um, it was a um a fundraiser for a local <laughs> store. Um, and I saw it online, and I was like, oh, that would be really cool to have. But then we saw it in person. And so I bought it. Yeah, because we have it in our cart online. Yeah. But one thing leads to another. Uh, you put that money goes to comics instead of a t-shirt. Yeah, right so here. we wanted to support the artist. Because he so, was there. Yeah, and I actually remember because she sends me a text saying, I need you to come over here with the money because <laughs> I found the shirt that I want. So I ended yeah. up going over there, getting the shirt, and then probably wearing that for New York Comic Con. Mm -hmm. Well, she kind of felt like this was a test. This was our trial one to get us prepared for our first con mm -hmm. working. Could be working Comic Con, a New York Comic Con. Um, but yeah, let's go with the uh, two, these two. So after these two, she's gonna be my van the right and hold the books the whole yeah. time. So you want to talk about them? Well, yeah, you got to show them first. Yeah. So. Okay. Well, so show we them, have... uh, yeah, show that one first though. Um, right. Conquer Worm. Which is uh, so this is Clara Meese. Um, cool cover. Yeah, so she adapted the poem from Ugly Adam Pole into a uh, short comic. And then right here is our Kickstarter, Mother 47. Uh, we've known, well, I won't say we've known, because we've met Claire, Clara. Um, back in 2018, I want to say. Uh, but you probably know her work from Midnight Vista. Mm -hmm. um, is there any other books that she's done? She size. did another independent book that um, that I can't remember, but just her artwork is just, it's so good. Um, let me just show this really cool page in The Conqueror Worm, which I don't really have much. The very opening page. Yeah, it just kind of has a lot of like, kind of Olympia, like Olympus. When I looked at it at yeah. first, I kind of got like that whole... I know you've read it. I haven't, but kind of Sandman-esque 
They yeah, clean but up. then you know, you see, it gets dark. Oh yeah, you know? she said so... while talking about the book, she said it gets kind of gory. Yeah, so. surprise. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we spend most of the time talking to independent creators, artists, writers. Mm-hmm. Um, the next book here, uh, The Vapor. Yes. By Anthony Pugh. You take this out. Um, it has a Anthony was right next to our good friend Dennis, who we've interviewed in the past. Actually, our first interview was with Dennis. Yeah. Um, the backside too. But some we had to pick up this book after we saw his uh, yep. his uh, spawn mm-hmm. uh, artwork. Uh, we were walking by. We got done talking to Dennis, and we walked by, and we did like that that quick stop, and we're like, is that spawn? And we walked over there, talked to Anthony for about what. Five ten minutes maybe. Yeah. Uh, found out that he'll probably be at New York Comic Con as a guest, not as a vendor, but as a guest. Mm-hmm. So we might run into him again. Um, hopefully, maybe do a little uh, impromptu interview potentially. Um, not nothing though is um, in the description. We're gonna have links to all these creators, you know, either Facebook, Instagram, website, stuff like that. So if you are intrigued by it, you mm-hmm. can find them. Um, the next is a, uh, a series of books. Ugh. By Nick Pelichek. Yes. Um, Greenway, part one, part two, and part three. He's a local podcaster, filmmaker, comic book writer. I mean, he's he's a Swiss army knife of pop culture in Minnesota, basically. I've uh, been wanting to read these books for quite some time. Uh, so, saw that he had a table there, talked to him for a long time, talked to him. Uh, and sure enough, Nick will probably be on the channel, and we'll probably be on his St. Paul Filmcast uh, in the future. Mm-hmm. Uh, so once we get back from New York, look out for that. Mm-hmm. But uh, next, next we're gonna go on to the goodies. I mean, these are goodies too, but yeah. So uh, we stopped off at the well. I stopped off while she was working because right across from right across from the booth that she was working uh, was Wither Racks, which is a new shop in town. Uh, we picked up these four books from there. Uh, only one of them is for Nora. The rest are for me, basically. Yeah, because, you know, my love for Star Wars. So, droid special with a really cool cover that you can you know you can kind of feel them popping off the page. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, this is my milestone love. You can actually grab both of these because both milestone. Yeah. So, I got Superboy and Cobalt. Uh, both milestone books from the '90s. Um, I know it's a little resurgence that we're having. It's milestone. Uh, everyone's talking. Well, not everyone. I feel like I'm the only po- only person reading milestone at the moment. But <laughs> yeah, I had to get these two. Uh, I've got a couple of cabals, but I don't have number one, so I had to fill that hole or fill that up. Mm-hmm. And then the next book is DC Comics presents Superman and Madame Xanadu. Yes. Uh, we have the first appearance of Madame Xanadu. And it's a character that we both love. We both love the whole DC mystical horror side of uh, the universe. So we had to get that book. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, then on to the next one. Is this... Uh, can you check the back? I don't know. I think one of them's got the name of it. I think this is Claremont. No. I don't no. Know. So, uh, yeah, let's go on to this one then. Yeah, this is Claremont Comics from Eau Claire. Yep, so Wisconsin. this is from Claremont. Um... I want to put this back last, so it's fine. So, like I mentioned, we love the DC, we love the horror side, the mystical side of books now, and we're getting into like the older uh, books. Um, so this is uh, Witching Hour Thirty Two. Awesome, cool. cool. Awesome, uh, it's, and so look at that is in great condition too. Mm-hmm. So we had to pick that up. Uh, the next one is Secrets of Haunted House with this gorgeous Bernie Wrightson cover. Yes. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if we put this on the wall. Mm-hmm. Um, good time and Halloween's around the corner. And plus, you know, we just love horror. But this next book, I got for five bucks. Mm-hmm. It's First Appearance of Scar. Uh, and um, one of our buddies asked us, hey, what'd you get? And we mm-hmm. showed him and he was like, dude, how in the hell did you get that for mm-hmm. five bucks? I'm like, well, he made, since he got three books, he made me a deal. He goes, dude, that's a fifty dollar book, and he's yeah. looking at the condition. And he's like, if you get that grade, there's a lot more too. So, <laughs> but yeah, uh, then on to our next uh, pile of four books that we I got for 
fifteen dollars. Um, Swamp Thing eleven from the first uh, run. Yes. I had to get it. I know. I think now this is our trip to New York and Nerd and Out Con soon. I think we're gonna try to aim to get this whole collection. Mm-hmm. And then um, what really kicked off this love for DC horror in that old time period uh, was Jack Kirby's Black Magic, the first cover of that film. So I had to get uh, three and four of it. Three and four. And if my ZOZ app is correct, it's Joe Simon doing that. So couldn't pass that up. And then this one is Charlatan Comics Ghostly Tales 112. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's, it's an old school bag, as you can tell. Very. Yeah. But I saw this and saw just that grotesque cover that I had to get. Yeah. So she was, was most of the time she wasn't with me for this, so mm-hmm. all this stuff is kind of new to her looking at it. So. Yeah. But the next two, she bought at Camp of College. Yes, so I have been loving the High Republic era, and the Star Wars Adventures did, like, a short story part um, with, I um, can't remember the name of the ship, though, um, with Mark and Rowe, and I wanted to find this cover, so I finally found it for a few bucks, and said, I'm going to buy it, because... Why not? You said yeah. And then I finally got the hardcover of Force Awakens Adaptation, which has awesome artwork. Um, I love Luke Ross. Yeah, Luke Ross's artwork is mm, pretty Chuck fun. Chuck Wendig wrote it. Chuck Wendig wrote it, and he wrote the Aftermath trilogy novelizations, which are, which are very good, that kind of lead into the Force Awakens. So, well, yeah. yeah. And then we got one more thing. Yes, let me take it out. Uh, this is something that I've wanted for a while. Uh, I follow the artist on Facebook, Instagram. His name is A.B. Walker, and his uh, studio is called... Monaco Arts. Monaco Arts. Um, I love this print. Um, What I love about the most is how Joker, Poison Ivy, and Bane are in the middle of it. Mm -hmm. They don't have much focus on the Harley Quinn. Mm -hmm. It's just... I I mean, I, I love this print. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you, when I showed it to you, like, I forgot about that. I did, and I was like, okay, we're going to add this to our DC wall. Um, we got some so Marvel up there. We have some Marvel. We have majorly DC on our wall. So, and we'll, we're going to have to do, like, a, a, um, what am I trying to say? A much better video of the next, oh, yeah. no, so... Um, tour. Tour, well, <laughs> Room tour. If, uh, well, the thing is, though, is I, I know that TM Nerdy Travis is doing these uh, YouTube cribs now, so I was kind of waiting to you know, get on to the after New York, potentially. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, our, the wall next to this computer is just filled with uh, artwork. Mostly, she's right, mostly DC. There's some spider Master up there, though, too. Yeah. Some Spawn. But yeah, we, uh, we gotta show you guys that, because it's awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, but lots of toys. Lots of toys. It's just a living room. Yeah. Uh, we usually film in the nerd room. Yes, we have a nerd room. Uh, we usually <laughs> film in that. You know, it's where all the comics are at. It's just for some reason the lighting today it just didn't work for that. But so now you have the ugly AC behind my head. You've got the old <laughs> ass AC. You got the curtains that we could probably use as a green screen. But uh, <laughs> let us know what you think of our hall. Um, and if there's any local conventions happening in your neck of the woods. Or are you from the local area? Did you attend FallCon? Did you like seeing Kyle's face really close? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you don't get to see the belly, at least. <laughs> but uh, thank you for watching. Uh, as always, do the YouTube thing like she says. Like, yeah. comment, share, and subscribe. We are six away from 50. Yeah. We're so close. And what happens <laughs> at six? What happens at 50? Uh, I think you get a tattoo on your face. Just kidding. Of what? <laughs> Of our logo. Yeah. Right there. So, also, if, if you're in the New York area, if you are going to New York Comic Con, let us know. So maybe we can uh, meet up, yeah. too. But uh, thank you for watching. Bye.